Good morning. Oof. Good morning. Thank you for the kisses. Sit. Good girl. All I have left are small mugs. Also, this is a big decision. What do we start the mug year off of with, off with? What's this one say? Hello, gorgeous. I love that mindset. I'm turning into an old lady because I went to bed last night before it was Eve of New Year's. I felt a little bit like a dweeb doing that, but then again, I feel like it's also not that cool when you're doing it by yourself. Like if you're hanging out with friends, you know, or family, you know, obviously it's fun to ring in the New Year. When you're ringing in the New Year by yourself, it's kind of like, Happy New Year, let's go to bed. You know, so I'm just like, meh. I'm just gonna go to bed early. I was tired too, so. It's 8.17 now. I woke up, I, I kept waking up. I woke up at five, I woke up at six, I woke up at seven. I almost got up at seven, but I decided to not do that and just lay there. And then I got up. I ended up pulling my phone off the charger at like 7.30, so. I think I got up shortly after that. I am dressed with jeans on. So one of my New Year's resolutions though is to be getting dressed on weekdays and then being able to stay in my pajamas on weekends so to me this is dressed i got jeans on i have a shirt on i'm out of the pajamas i slept in i'm not wearing sweatpants so it's a win so last night like we talked about i had made a little um schedule for today so let's sit down and review what we made because i forgot already and it's been 12 hours okay eight o'clock says wake up nine o'clock says coffee but we're not doing that we're having coffee now at 8 20. 10 o'clock says right right from 10 to 12. but that's like still an hour and a half between so i didn't plan this right i will think i woke up too early at one um i can watch an episode of the k-drama nap at two wake up have coffee um around five or wake up there's a space in between waking up and coffee at five wake up at four probably that's my latest client work at six dinner and then finish up the client work after that so puppy went upstairs crazy puppy i heard her i'm not tired but my eyes are tired is that funny i'm gonna drink the coffee probably watch something on youtube because i don't really i haven't really been going to my couch to watch tv anymore honestly like, I have K-dramas scheduled in here. I'm not watching one at the moment. I just finished Castaway Diva a few days ago, actually. I'm not really watching one other than that, so that sounds unlike me, but this is what it is. It's the spot. She's so cute, she loves that spot. So, I haven't gotten a lot done. Um, I mean, I've gotten maybe halfway of the 4,000-ish goal for the day. 22,877 is what we're on. And we started off the day with 20,753. So just a little bit over 2K. I, <laughs> I had my first cry of 2024 today, it was, crazy thankfully though it wasn't book related so like i wasn't upset about a book it was just we are just a little bit emotional and so that really took me down for the count for a very long while um i took a nap and i ended up feeling a lot better after my nap it's five no it's six o'clock now i've been up for maybe two hours i went upstairs and i was gonna make a k-pop collage but i just wasn't feeling like it um i haven't really made one in a very long time i looked at my client work and it's only 72 pages so i'm gonna actually try to write a little bit more tonight and then do some do the client work i also have a little bit of time tomorrow that i could be able to work on it so we might work on it a little bit tomorrow too that way i can focus on writing a little bit more tonight before i lose the mood of the scene i am currently in
Okay, it is 9.30. I am stopping for the night in the middle of the scene, which I shouldn't probably be doing. But then sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't, I don't know. We're stopping. At 23,450 words um, for the day, well, total for the manuscript, so that's about a little under 3,000, um, so we did not hit our goal. The thing that I'm also a little worried about is that I copy and pasted from the other document a little bit today, and so I'm like, that's even less words technically that I wrote today. So I'm worried about this 4K a day. However, I did have that meltdown today, and, and that took a chunk out of the time where I normally would have been writing, so maybe it'll be okay. Maybe today was just a bad day, but we're gonna write it down in our planner. I need to move my mints on. You guys, photo cards are just, like, amazing. And, like, my little Minsung photo card. You guys. Sue me for having something I enjoy. <sighs> okay. What did I say the number was? The word count was? Am I in focus? I don't think I am. Am I blurry? I forgot the word count. Actually, I don't even think I actually calculated it correctly anyway. So we have 23450 minus 20,753. So 2,697 is what we finished the day with. So we're going to write that down. Um, 2,000. We're going to write down here. And I'm going to come over here. Um, and say 2,000. So that means we have 17,303 words more to write for the week. Also, I'm going to be counting the week from Monday to Sunday, not Sunday to Saturday. Um, just because my planner starts on a Monday, the year started off on a Monday, so we're going to count our weeks Monday to Sunday. And I'm going to go up and shower, but then when I get done, I'm going to start on the client work. Um, and then work for the night and then finish up anything tomorrow. I don't finish it up. So that's the game plan Good first day, you know, it was a good Given the fact that we had a rough morning. It was still a good first day. So I am happy with it Oh, Bomi come get your treat. Bomi come get your potty treat. Bomi, come. Come on. Come get your potty treat. I forgot it. Oh, stretch. Stretch. Good job. Come on, let's get your potty treat. Sit. You went one and two and I forgot. So I got the text message that um, my landlord's dad is going to come by sometime this week and like check everything and fix things I need fixed. And so now I'm realizing, okay, this is, it's time. Take the photo cards off the fridge. Could leave the CDs. This just, it just, well, I need to take the photo card Christmas tree down as well. It just feels like, but this needs to come down. This does. And you were cute though. Cute, cute. I just feel a little embarrassed. It's fine. Ew. It's so naked. I almost like feel like I need to censor it. Hi, hey, hello. Seven o'clock. I have gotten zero words today because um, I thought that was something on my face, but it's something on the viewfinder. I just was cleaning a lot um, in preparation for my landlord's dad to come, but um, my parents just left. They ran Bumi ragged. So hopefully, cutie patootie sleeps while we can get some words in. I made a cup of coffee. She's outside. We're waiting patiently by the door. It's so sad so sad. I feel like an adult. It's gross. In my 2023 reflection video, I said I liked feeling like an adult, and I do, but like an adult without K-pop. That's a no for me. Get your potty treat. Yes, I need to take care of that. I don't know why I'm not. I just haven't yet. Okay, we are stopping this writing session. <coughs> uh, it's 938 for one with 28,468 words. I might write some more, but I'm gonna go up and shower. Probably like 2,000 of that is copy and pasted from the other draft. So technically still not 4,000, like 
for technicalities. We're easing ourselves into this challenge and we can do that with the, but, but then again, I think I am done now with copy and pasting. I'm pretty sure. Unless there are like small sentences here and there that I'm going to interject. I think all the scenes are in the book now that I'm keeping um, anyway. Now though, we are writing the bowling scene. The bowling scene. I'm so excited. Bobo, oh, hello. Hi, Bobo. Why are you hiding? Hello. It is the next day. It is the fourth today. I didn't... Um, update my planner yesterday because I, I don't know, I wrote, you saw the clips, but I didn't, I didn't stop to fill out the planner and check the word count. I know I didn't hit 4k. <laughs> I've only hit it once, but then again, that's not the goal. The goal is 20,000 words in a week. So, uh, I'm not even close. I wasn't even, I wasn't even close to doing 4k yesterday. Uh, I actually had an, a crisis, another one with this book. This time though, I, I still enjoy what I'm doing. I'm like, there's so freaking much that has to be, we've, we've talked about this, that there's so much to put in the book. The thing is, I understand where people are coming from. People are saying, oh, the whole Lacey and Landon relationship is an Easter egg. And while technically yes, that is an Easter egg that leads to Lacey and Landon's book, it very much so affects Madison's character. You know what I'm saying? The whole, incident with Maisie in freshman year. Yes, that's an Easter egg for Maisie's book, but to not include it in Madison's book would be crazy. Do you know what I mean? And so there's a lot of those aspects that kind of just don't make a ton of sense to cut. I think I'm figuring out ways to like make it less important. Like the whole Lacey and Landon thing, like it it's it, it's relevant for for Lacey's book but not so relevant for Madison's that I think it could be something that Madison does, doesn't think too much of it. But for Lacey, she does think a lot of it because it's, you know, it, you're, do you know what I'm saying? You know how like, it's like percepti perception. One person can perceive a character as snotty and rude and another person can perceive the character as cool and down to earth. Do you know what I mean? It's what each character thinks is important enough in their head to warrant talking about in their thoughts, you know? Um, and so I, I, I was breaking it down. I'm like, okay, maybe I don't have to show every little interaction between Maisie and Madison. Like when Ma when Maisie comes over to Madison's house to drop off paperwork, um, it's a very short exchange and it's important for Maisie's book, but not really as important for Madison's book. And I kept getting tripped up because I'm like, it is important for Madison's book. This is like the first time they're talking. So of course Madison's gonna be thinking about it, but we don't have to see the scene we can just see a recap of the scene. And then I'm thinking, oh, well, the next day, Jade runs into Maisie in the hallway, Maisie's on the ground. Um, and that's probably an important character moment for Madison as well. Um, and it is. But I think there's a way to have it, like, her just think back about it. Like, we can skip that scene, so I'm not retelling that scene. Because, yes, it's important for... Like, Maisie is important to Madison's character in this book and the overall evolution and arc of Madison's character. It's the nitty-gritty fine-tuning to make sure I'm not putting too much in. Um, because, like I said, I do agree that a lot of things are Easter eggs, but the problem with it is that there are so many things that tie too much into Madison's character and who Madison is and how Madison reacts to things. The whole Lacey and Landon thing, for how much Madison was involved like and upset about the whole ordeal in book four in Lacey's book, it didn't feel right to completely skip it in Madison's book. So it's been tough. I had that crisis yesterday. That was why we didn't get as many words because I, I kind of stalled out because I had gotten to that section where Maisie should have been coming over to Madison's house then Maisie should have been falling in the hallway the next day. And then we have uh, Madison coming out of Connor's car, Jaden Connor's car, to find Lacey with Landon in the parking lot. So I had those three scenes, and I'm like, do I write them again and show their po her point of view? If so, I'm going to be like three chapters in, and we haven't seen the love interest since. Which is another problem, because he is the main, he should be the main plot 
in the main plot. But I feel like we're not seeing him nearly enough. And I know that's something that's going to come into editing because I'm not focusing on her headspace enough about him. I'm, she's not thinking about him enough, so he's not present enough. So that's something that's going to fix in editing. But... 29434. Oh no. You are kidding me. You are you are kidding me. Can I just say I could have sworn I wrote pretty well yesterday? Can I just say that? I thought I wrote a lot yesterday. I know I didn't write 4K, but I was thinking like 2000, you know? That's not right. It can't be right. How is it right? Maybe we were a little bit too ambitious with this challenge. Oh no. Oh no. 943. I didn't even break 1k. Oh, I'm dumb. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? But I'm not gonna give up. Even if I don't hit 20k this week, I'm gonna try again next week. We're not giving up, but I do feel a smidgen embarrassed. Okay, so what's 943 plus 7744? 7, 8687. We haven't even hit 10k yet. We haven't even hit 10k yet. Stop, Stop it. I have a scene coming up though. It's the bowling scene. That will get me a lot of words. Um, I do know exactly what needs to happen in it. I, I actually plotted it a, a little bit down last night. Like, four lines of plot. So, I'm like, we're not plotters by any means. Oh my gosh, we're not even at 10k. Oh, I forgot to plan out my day today. What is this hair doing? In case you haven't, you can't tell, I did take a shower and my hair is air drying ever so slowly. Um, I have once again reached the point where, oh my gosh, what is going on here? Where I am not having fun. <laughs> I don't think I will ever win with this book. I am 31,011 words. So technically to reach my 4K today, um, I need to be at 33, but that still is not even close to my 20k goal for the week. And tomorrow I have client work and the landlord is coming to check the things. I don't know how long it's going to take. On Saturday, I am going to be busy all day and then I have Sunday. So technically I have some of tomorrow all day Sunday, but we still need... Mm, I think we're at like 8,000 for the month, for the week so far. 12,000 between two days. Today, tomorrow, a little bit. And then all day Sunday. How many times am I going to tell am I going to feel so stuck and upset with this book before I actually put it down? Hello. I missed your call, so I was calling you back. You're sounding distraught, or is it the telephone? No, I'm distraught. Why are you distraught? This freaking book. I wanted you to. Um, I wanted to call you to let have you decide. What do I do? I told you what I think. I say. I say. Put the stupid book on the shelf and write that one that you picked up and you were like, I like this one. Blah, blah, blah. You've been fighting on this book since before Thanksgiving. I say, put it on the shelf and do that one that you were that you picked up and you're like, oh yeah, I like that. And blah blah blah. Stop it, baby. Stop it. You gotta clear your mind. You gotta do something that's funny. If if you're having to like work so hard on this, it's it's draining you. And then you'll become grumpy. Oh, and by the way, Bumby has a very cute haircut. We all like it. Isn't it adorable? Maya, we Bud and I were talking about it. Maya is the aunt to Bumby. Oh, this is true. So that would make Kerr the uncle. Except Kerr's the uncle. Oh. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't want to admit defeat. 
And like, I know, I know at this point, it's so probably freaking annoying that in every single vlog, I'm like, oh, I like it. Oh, I hate it. I know, I know. Okay, hello. It is the next morning. It's 8.30 in the morning. We did not hit 4,000 last night. And at this point, hang on, I have nowhere to pop you my, my, both of my tripods are upstairs. I completely forgot I have the one tripod. Oh, that's not an angle that's gonna work. Um, so, I did not hit 4K yesterday. Story of my life. I'm beginning to wonder if I was overly ambitious with this goal. However, I'm not gonna let myself, like, think that, because if I do, I will freak out, so... Um, I accidentally closed my documents. I gotta open it back up. I didn't, I didn't lose anything. I just closed it out after saving it yesterday. And I don't know my final word count. 31,157. So, 30, 31,000. And we started the day off yesterday at 29,434. So we wrote 1,723 words yesterday. So let me actually I'll write that on my planner. That was a terrible sound voice. I don't even know what accent that was. You're gonna be at an angle, okay? Okay. Sometimes life disappoints us, but it is what it is. Okay, what day was that yesterday? The fourth. And I put my pen in my purse. Give me one second. So oh, I have had <laughs> revelations um and i'm not gonna share with you what those are until the end uh, okay fine you're gonna be crooked i was trying to fix you forget it until the end of this experiment um because i i'm i'm getting real tired of me being like i love this book i hate this book i love this book i hate this book and i know you guys are too so unless my mood changes drastically i am gonna try and keep those like meltdowns to a minimum and i am where was i supposed to write this oh i was supposed to write on the, on the calendar page i'm switching gears and changing what did i say i had revelations i'm changing my mode of attack so we wrote 1720 three yesterday okay that plus our running total of eight six eight seven we are finally at ten thousand four hundred and ten words so ten four hundred and ten words out of twenty thousand technically i do still have today tomorrow and sunday so we are not in the most massive pickle. But like I said, Saturday, I will be busy all day. I might have a time, some time to write in the morning, like maybe an hour. But realistically, I'm not really good with time crunches. So if I were to write two days, that's over 5,000 words today and Sunday. <sighs> there is some vlog footage that I had filmed that got cut. I filmed a lot um, in the last two weeks of December and I'm cutting it all because it is no longer relevant. I never posted it because I took the last little bit off of December. Like I took the time off. My voice was very deep this morning. That was strange. It's not relevant anymore. So anything that I had filmed, like me talking about that Christmas book that I had started and stopped, like it's not relevant. So um, I think the reason also why I stopped that Christmas book is that it does not feel like Christmas here. And it's a lot easier to write a Christmas book in June when Christmas can be whatever you want, when it is Christmas and it feels nothing like Christmas. Like there's no snow, it was 50 degrees. Like people weren't putting up their Christmas lights that much this year. It was horrible. I did not feel like Christmas at all. That is why we stopped the Christmas book. I don't know if I said, I don't know if I got a cut, so. I started a K-pop trading Instagram. For those of you who are interested, DM me on Instagram and I'll send you the link. I have, I think, four trades. Four trades and then one sale I have to send out today. I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm so pumped. <laughs> Pack trades. Sales. Anyway, yes. The plan of attack has changed and I will update you at the end if it works. But as of right now, January 5th, it's changed. So we will see if the word counts improve. 
Good morning. It's snowing outside for one, so that's cool. It's actually sticking a little, so that's even cooler. Let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't feel good. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, th I had a fever last night in the middle of the night, um, which is very bizarre for me. I don't have fevers like ever. Like, you know how you just feel when you have a fever? That was me last night. Still don't feel great. Um, but I was actually really lucky. My mom stayed the night last night. Um, and so she was able to, when she was going to leave this morning, I was like, I need medicine. I, I can't go downstairs and get it. I was like, can you please just bring it to me? And she brought me medicine and then she took Bomi with her because when she heard my mom in my bedroom, she started to like wake up and she's like, I'll just take Bomi with me and you can come pick her up later. So like, God bless Mama Sutton. The reason why, uh... My mother stayed the night last night. Uh, I mean, it's so hard to, to, to decide like the fine line of what personal stuff to share and what personal stuff to not share. So I talked in a few vlogs back about how my dad has a big family. He has five siblings one brother and four sisters um and last night his oldest sister my aunt passed away um and the reason why I'm saying it because I could keep it to myself and all that stuff but like it was kind of sudden but the reason why I'm saying it is because she um her and my my grandmother my dad's mom they are like the two biggest supporters of me in my writing journey. They, sh my aunt especially was the cutest thing about it. She would buy the books in Kindle and in paperback and once she had me sign them she would like put them immediately into like plastic wrap and say like that sometime, someday these first editions are going to sell for so much money. She was a huge, huge supporter of my dream every step of the way so that's really shitty you know it's actually kind of crazy because my grandfather passed on my mom's side he passed away september 30th if you guys remember if you were here for that and that was the first death that i had actually ever experienced within the family that was close with me i've had a few married in uncles pass when i was like five but like otherwise um nobody in my co close circle had passed. So that's just crazy that um, she passed. She also watched the vlogs sometimes. So that also sucks. Um, you know what? I'm going to go upstairs and get my tripod one second. This is much easier. I should have had this down here from the start. but I'm just silly. For the 20k challenge. I do anticipate writing today. Um, my dad's at my grandparents right now. Um, because she lived with them, my grandparents, and so everyone's kind of over there, I'm pretty sure. I am sick, so I am not going anywhere. I don't know what I'm sick with, and so I'm like, I'm not gonna bring that around anybody else. I didn't write at all yesterday. Like I said, my pen is not by me. Ugh, give me a second. I didn't write at all yesterday. Um, I didn't intend to. I thought I could maybe get a little bit, but I didn't intend to, and it definitely did not happen. Um, so, hang on. I have too much stuff on my desk. I know this is a somber note to end on. I, I, I don't know if I'm ending here or if I'm going to write, but today is still going to be a pretty, like, sad day. So, sad note to end on. But, um, what was I doing? Oh, I was looking at the word count. Friday, we wrote 3,910 words. I know it would be cheating if I just hurry quick wrote. Uh, I'll put it down. 3,910 words. Uh, fine. If I gotta be accurate. But that was my highest word count day since Tuesday because it, I'm gonna say the numbers. If I am good with editing, I will edit them on the screen as well. But I also know like I have to edit this video today slash tonight at some point and I don't know what my day is looking like. Um, Monday we got 2,697 and let me actually calculate while we're talking about it. Tuesday we got 5,047. Wednesday we got 943. Thursday we got 1723. Friday we had 300. 
3,910. So right now we are at a total of 14,320 words. So to be on track, I need to get 5,680. That was actually some fast math for me. I'm shocked. Which we haven't even gotten that word count yet this week at all because the last 5,000 day was only 5,047.